In this video, I want to show you how Spearman's rank correlation coefficient is derived. Now, um, don't worry, you won't have to replicate this in the exam. This is here for interest's sake. Um, but it's also to kind of show you how linked uh, the product moment correlation coefficient and Spearman's rank correlation coefficient are. Um, so in actual fact, we are going to derive Spearman's from the PMCC. Okay, so um, let's say, just to kind of get the ball rolling here, just to kind of like make sure that we're clear on uh, um, the notation that I'm going to use. Uh, what I want you to imagine is that I've had some data together. Maybe um, we've got uh, Judge A and Judge B, and they're both um, uh, rating, uh, I don't know, uh, types of jam. Um, <laughs> let's say they're rating types of jam, and uh, they're giving them a score, and we've now ranked them in order of preference. Okay, um, so. These are the X ranks for one of the judges. So uh, they put the first one as first, then second, then the third one as fifth, then the next one as third, and then the next one as fourth. OK, and these are the ranks for the other judge. Um, and so what we want to consider is that uh, every time you rank data, what happens is that the sum of your ranks so the sum of all of the xi's will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 in this case. But if you kept on going, it would go up to n. OK, so essentially, um, if you have done uh, sums of series and you've looked at the series formulae, then here we're actually doing the sum of r, OK? And that's one of the uh, series formulae that we need to learn for core pure. And that's 1 half n, n plus 1. That's what they would all add up to. OK? So that's the first thing. Now, we're also, from that, going to consider then the x bar and what that would represent X bar would be the mean of the ranks. So X bar would be the sum of all of your XIs divided by how many there are, N. So it would be this divided by N. And so it would just be 1 half N plus 1. Okay, so we've got the sum of X. We've got our mean. Okay, and what else are we going to need? We're also going to need the sum of X squared. So I'm just thinking of the pieces of the puzzle that I'm going to have to substitute in to the PMCC formula. So the sum of x squared here is 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared up to n squared. OK, now this one is in your formula booklet. So the sum of r squared and that goes 1 sixth n n plus 1 to n plus 1. So that's one of our series formulae. Okay, And of course you can prove that by induction as well. So the SXX formula given to us in the formula booklet. Okay, So here's the formula booklet. The SXX is the sum of the xi squareds. Take away the sum of x i all squared divided by n. Okay, so we've got one sixth n n plus one two n plus one. Take away now the sum of x i is that which I'm squaring, so that would be one quarter n squared n plus one squared, but I'm dividing it by n as well, so I'm going to get one quarter. I'm now just going to have a single n, n plus 1 squared. So this is SXX. Now I'd like to simplify that if I can. So what I'm then going to do is I've got 1 sixth and a quarter, so I'm going to factor up 1 twelfth. They both have an n, and they both have n plus 1. So I can factor 
all of that out the front. And I'm going to be left with 2, because 2 twelfths make the sixth, times by 2n plus 1. Take away 3, because 3 twelfths makes the quarter. The n's dealt with, the n plus 1 is dealt with, I need another n plus 1. So we have 1 twelfth n, n plus 1. And then here we've got 4n, take away 3n, which is n. And then we've got 2, take away 3, so take away 1. So I can write this as 1 twelfth n, n plus 1 times n minus 1 is n squared minus 1. Okay, so that is SXX. Now, with that being SXX, what will SYY be? Well, the sum, so if I did all this in terms of Y instead, the sum of YI would be the same. It's just 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8, all the way up to N. And so the sum of yi's will also be a half n, n plus 1. So that is exactly the same as the sum of all the yi's. So the sum of all the yi's divided by n, well, that's going to be y bar. And here, that will be precisely the same as the sum of all the yi's squared. So that means that... When I go through this, this will be precisely the same as S by Y. So those two things will be the same. So remember that the formula for the product moment correlation coefficient, R, is SXY over the square root of SXX SYY. So I know that I'm going to have SXX times SYY square rooted. So in the denominator, I'm just going to have 1 12th N, N squared minus 1. Okay? So now what I need is SXY. So what is SXY? Right, well, again, in the formula booklet, if you need it, okay, to remind yourself, we've got the sum of the xi's, yi's, and then take away the sum of the xi's times the sum of the yi's divided by n. OK. Now, here, the problem is that I don't know what this is going to be, the sum of the xi, yi's, okay? And I've got the sum of xi's, okay, I've got that there, and I've got the sum of yi's there, and I can divide that by n very easily, okay? So I know that this is the sum of xi, yi, take away that times itself divided by n. So we're going to have one quarter n, n plus 1 squared. Okay, so it's actually the same as that term there that I had. Right, okay. Now, as uh, we know, the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient uh, has d involved. So the difference um, of the ranks, okay? So, what we need to consider then is that as part of the formula, we know that we're going to be utilizing di squared, okay? So the, the sum of all the differences. I know that's already in the formula. Now, you might be thinking, well, okay, Jack, you're, you're now looking ahead <laughs> to what you need, which is a bit of a cheaty way of doing it. But, um, Essentially, it's a way of just like looking, going, OK, well, um, I'm working backwards. I know what I need to get to to derive it, but there's nothing wrong with me doing this because it's still going to show that one and, the, one and the same thing, right? So it's still going to show that this formula that I'm going to get from the pieces that I already have 
is the formula that I need. Okay, so I'm going to consider the sum of the differences in the ranks squared, which is going to be the sum of x i take away y i squared. Right, so this will be the sum of x i squared take away two lots of x i y i plus y i squared. Okay, so this is going to be the sum, so breaking the summation apart, x i squared take away two lots of the sum of x i y i plus the sum of y i squared. Now, the sum of x i squared was this, and the sum of y i squared is this. So adding those together will get me, well, just two lots of that, which is one third n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1. And I've got this takeaway 2 times the summation of the x i y i. OK. Now, from there, um, I can rearrange this equation to get the sum of x i y i is equal to. So bring that over to the other side of the equal sign, divide through by 2. and Well, bring that over to the other side of the equal sign, move that to the right-hand side and divide by 2. So we're going to get 1 sixth n n plus 1, 2 n plus 1 and then take away a half of the sum of the di squared. So that is that bit there. So I think now we've got everything we need. So R, and we're going to call this Rs, for the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient, is equal to the SXY, which is that, and I can replace that summation with this. So we have 1 sixth n, n plus 1, 2n plus 1, take away 1 half times the summation of di squared, take away the quarter n, n plus 1 squared, divided by the square root of SXX, SYY. So remember, that's the square root of that times that, which is just 1 12th n, n squared minus 1. But wait, we've got this, take away this, which up here I worked out is the 1 12th n, n squared minus 1. So that bit take away that bit, is 1 12th n, n squared minus 1, get rid of all that, that divided by that is just going to be 1, take away, and now I've got this bit, 1 half divided by 1 12th is 6 times by the sum of the di squareds divided by n, n squared minus 1. And so that is Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. Okay, that is where the formula comes from. So you can um, derive it, you derive it using the product moment correlation coefficient formula. Okay. Um, now I know I worked out the x bar y bar. I didn't really need that in the end, uh, but that's fine. Um, didn't actually end up using it. You can you can end up using that if instead of using the SXX formula that I've got there, you use um, the sum of the x i minus x bar squared. Uh, so if you do it, if you derive it from that way. Uh, you will have to end up using that, okay?
Um, I just had that. I think I just had that one in my head. So that's how we derive it. And yeah, you might be thinking, oh, this is a little bit um, fishy, this kind of like working backwards. But essentially, I could have written it with the sum of the x i y i's as part of the formula, and that would have been correct. But um, to write it in a nicer format, um, it, that is how it's been developed, so that it can be written in that way. Okay, so that is how we can derive Spearman's rank correlation coefficient.